All right. I believe we are back on the case of the dearly departed Tina Jacobs. I do not understand. Oh, I'm very cold. That is why my screen is shaking so vigorously. Please get out of the cold. Oh my god. Hmm. I see. Well, let me go investigate this. These here. There's a camera here. <laughs> Not again. I'm at the hospital now. Every bill, every room in, in the city has turrets. Hmm. When we talk, people it's quite unfortunate, I would say, for my current uh, hmm, I will just say endeavors to uh, figure out what happened with Tina Jacobs. fine sir there's no need to get aggravated or attempt to assault me all right I must hurry for I will get cold then I will shiver I will shiver on my tip second. Now what if I pull out my... Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me, would you mind if I, uh... Do you mind if I took your fingerprint? Evening, sir. What is your name? All right, you do not want to tell me your name. There's typically a common courtesy that is allowed to most people, but that's perfectly fine. Could you provide your fingerprint for an investigation? No. All right, then. Um, do you know this person? Do you know Tina Jacobs? Sure. It yes, it is Tina Jacobs. Correct. Never shuts up about music. Interesting. Somewhere around Robinson Heights. Do you know this person? Can't do anything with that info. All right, then. Thank you for nothing, sir. 
Hello, ma'am. What's up, ma'am? No. Hello, sir. I see the turrets about. From 403 Robinson Heights to 304. Kushal Center. Hmm. Outgoing. Incoming calls. What was the last phone call she made? From four oh three. Four oh three Robinson Heights. She's called four oh three quite a lot. The uh, the body. One second. I would like to figure out. From examining the body, I can determine the time of death was on January third. Between twenty three hundred. I see. January third. Outgoing. This was the last call she made to an unknown location to the Grand Gold Ride Hotel District. So where the where the where the peak ski? Resolve. I do not know. Go to four oh three Robinson Heights. You work hard. 
hard for your money. So make it work hard for you. Just ask your work about our paycheck exchange program, and we'll take care of the rest. Kensington Indigo. need this money later all right then 403 Robinson Heights it is this is three, so this is going to be four. Oh no, is it over here? gone too far on the stairs. This is 302 Robinson Heights. Hello Inspector, Police Officer. Ah, oh. there seems to be some sort of a crime that has been committed here. Hmm, interesting. Hello, sir. All right, you do not want me. You don't want, do not want to tell me your name. That is perfectly fine, sir. Have you uh, seen or heard anything unusual? Interesting. And who was acting odd? Long black hair. Today at 304 Robinson Heights, around three in the morning, they were looking angry. See, do you know this person? All right. Um, you do not want to give me your fingerprint. Can I come in uh, and take a look around? All right. Um, long black hair, hair. Right, yes, you said that. Saw them at 304 Robertson Heights around... Interesting, around... This would be... This would fit the time. Look like they were in a foul mood, you say? Keep your nose out of my business. All right. Well, listen. Um, would you um, care to support the... Thank you so much, sir, for supporting the very important work that we are doing here. Um, to solve this murder. Um, I'm, I, you've already said you do not want to provide your fingerprints, so I will bid you, uh, I will bid you a good day, sir. Unknown citizen, a neighbor, perhaps, says they saw someone. See, yes, yes. Well, all right then. Um, 
bless you for that sneeze. Thank you so much, sir. You have been very gracious with your with your time. Very kind. All right. I bet I, apparently I can go fuck myself. I can go fuck myself right now, can't I? All right then. Um, go to 403 Robinson Heights. Good evening. Um, I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. Um, or good afternoon, I should say. It is apparently the afternoon. It's tough. I've been on the job for a while. Uh, mind my own business. I will say that is apparently uh, an impossibility for me. Uh, it has been since childhood, but I will not get into that. Um, have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Oh, all right. You mind your own business. And that's personal. Right. Okay. Uh, do you know this person? Alright, you don't want to tell me that. You are being very uncooperative. Alright, um... Alright, you do not want to give me the time of day. I understand. Can I come in and take a look around? Alright, well, so you understand that there has been a murder committed in this very building. Alright. Listen, um, you keep your nose out of people's business, I understand. Would you like the, would you like this? Well, yeah, I would, gi I would happily give you that. Now, I have given you a plunger. Will you please tell me if you have seen... Alright. You still do not wish to play ball. Now, I know what you're thinking. But hold on one sec. What if I give you this here? Eraser. Alright, you're not a fan of the eraser. But what about this here? Screwdriver. Stop trying to give you things, you creep. Alright, well, I was just trying to get on your good side, but it appears we have uh, reached an impasse, sir. Um... Would you like to help the cause? No? Alright then. Well, I will go ahead on and fuck myself. Um, and I appreciate your time. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. Not every lead you investigate will be fruitful. It's all part of the job, detective. Move on to the next lead. When you're ready, if you have... If you, if, if you think you have enough information to solve the case, input it into the resolve form. Just back off. All right, all right, all right. I will investigate the diner. Sir, there's... Sir, there's no need to get aggressive. Put your gun away, sir. Sir, there's no need to get aggressive. I beg you, sir. It was a misunderstanding. I had simply tripped. I was meaning to leave. Boy, I tell you what, people in this here town are quite rude. Everybody's old on edge. Hello. What is your name, ma'am? Lovely, lovely, Lo Lovisia Johnson. Health inspector. Well, I could lie, but have you seen or heard anything unusual? Oh, all right then. Do you happen to know this person? Yes, you do know Tina Jacobs. They've been working at the Mulberry Solutions. Yes.
What are your opening hours? 24 hours. Every day. Would you... Ah, you would give me your fingerprint. Well, madam. Lovisa Johnson. I'm gonna go ahead on. Did you, did you actually provide me your fingerprint? All right. Um, let me ask you one more question. Do you know this person? But you do not know the name. All right then. Well, that makes sense. That person was a complete dickhead. Now, I'm not going to arrest you on suspicion of murder, but I would like to... Yes. Right, a guest pass. I understand. Alright, well. Listen. She's got a top C. Interesting. Lovisha Johnson. Hair color, long blonde hair. Unfortunately, Lavisha does not. Inspected evidence. Go to the pilot canteen. Pilot Canteen, you say? Is this not the Pilot Canteen? Uh, it appears not. Work ID. Works at Murberry Solutions. Hmm. Pilot Canteen. Now, how do I get there? Is the question. Hmm. Telephone call from one nine zero twenty-eight Tuesday, January third. Interesting. Well then. What's in the Boa district? I suppose I should go to the uh, pilot canteen. Well, thank you for your time, miss.
nothing. Wonderful. They should have surveillance footage in their office. Might need to sneak in. I need to get a passcode. Hello, ma'am. Uh, I would like to speak with you. What is your name? Uh, afternoon. What is your name? Oh, well, you are quite the rude front of house for this here establishment, I must say. Uh, I, I am a health inspector. Yes. Um, all right, well, listen. Um, if you want to fail the health inspection, that's totally up to you. I will, that is none of your business. Uh, uh, do you know who Tina Jacobs is? Interesting. Now, let me ask you one question. Could you provide your fingerprints? Well, all right then. Hmm. I will. I will return if I cannot find a way in. Lovely security system you have here. Quite the alarm. Oh, look for some finger. employees the door code to my office has been reset to 4935 well Caleb Crawford you are I would say thank you for that code Scan your fingerprints, man. Now, now, if you could just not move here. Crunchers are digital personal communication. 
computation devices. A wealth of information. documents. You find useful evidence in a micro cruncher, don't forget to print it using the on-screen print button so you can pin it to your case board. I'll be honest, I did not notice that turret. I should probably start saving save scum in here so I don't keep dying. Just the call logs. Hello, sir. Uh, may I speak to you? Uh, what is your name, sir? Sawyer Graves. What a beautiful name. Uh, let me ask you this. Uh, do you know who this person is? Yes, they were around Robertson Heights. That is true. Um, do you mind if I? Provide, if you give me your fingerprint, all right. Well, Sawyer, I'll be honest with you. You have um, thoroughly uh, removed yourself from suspicion. Also, would you care to support the effort? Oh, okay, to solve the but you didn't let me finish. But that's all right. Have you heard anything unusual? All right. Well, you've been um, sort of helpful, I should say. Before you go to the restroom, sir, I do need to add you to my board. I'll just be honest with you. I, I, you have been. You are clearly not a suspect. You are type G, and uh, you are type C. You refused to give me yours. Yours. Either Jacobs was type A, and obviously the killer is type B. Hello, sir. Are you, uh... 
What is afternoon, sir? What is your name? All right then. Oh my lord! What were you two doing in there? Hello, hello. What? What kind of a travesty was going on? Of what kind of miscarriage of HR was going on in this room, sir? Uh, let me ask you something. All right, you are very unhelpful. Um, have you seen or heard anything? All right then. Okay. Um, how much for a tour of this place? Guest pass, you say. All right then. Well, how about this? I'm gonna go ahead on and perhaps take you up on that later. Observed. He knows I'm here. Well, this is good news. Ah! I seem to have gotten lost. I, I will see, I will see myself out. Thank you. In fact, I will uh, lock you into it. Oh my god, sir, please, you do not have to, oh my god, I'm, oh, you are a murderer, you are a murderer, sir, I will arrest you, sir, sir, you are under, sir, I will fist your cuffs you, sir, 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 sir. Sir, you, sir, you will also get the fist cuffs here, oh, oh. There's no car. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. You have got to. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Listen. This did not have to play out this way. You understand? I was merely trying to um, get some information. But, now that you are knocked out, you are Caleb Crawford. Well, that is good. Uh, I will take your key. Oh, I can't take your money, can I? Are 
Retail owner. Yes. It's all you. Well, well, well. It's a revolver. Interesting that you have a revolver that is around the same caliber of weapon that was used to kill Tina Jacobs. Okay, we got all this. Yes. Interesting. Now, sir, if you will please calm yourself while I go back to using this machine. Interesting. Joseph Sanders, waitstaff. Tuesday, the third. He was the one that was he was the only one that was here. Back room. Rose Hopkins, waitstaff. Well, 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 Rose. Young adult. You, I think, might, might have been the one that done it. Long, blonde hair. Well, that doesn't fit what I already have. Jesus! Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Sir, 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 sir. How are you alive, sir, sir? Listen, listen, listen. I am a master. I'm just going to go ahead on and load from this uh, from this nice spot. And then in part two in, in part three we will figure out what's going on in that here diner. 